Are they just... Ano ba hindi kami nung SB? Kala ko sama ng mga wakla eh. Wala. Kala ko sama ng mga wakla eh. 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 Okay, let's rewind again. <laughs> you know what, guys? I, I've never thrown any shades at anybody on this YouTube channel, but boys, have you got a mirror? Can you guys afford to buy a mirror? If not, you guys can hit me up at Instagram and I'm gonna send you a little generous amount of love offering for you to have something to buy. A mirror on your wall. How's that? <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, the nerve! Hello ladies and gentlemen, those and tween, welcome back to my channel. I'm right here today, we're gonna be reacting to another SB19's video. Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful time wherever you are in the world right now. If you're completely brand new to this channel, please check out my other reaction videos, especially my reaction videos to SM19's videos, and if you like them, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for closing out this video, and of course, doing so is free of charge, and at the same time, you guys can help me grow my YouTube channel. Anyway, today we are down to the final episode of Casual Chalk's mini-documentary SM19 story. Episode 4, and the title of this video is Monster. So guys, I don't want to keep you waiting for much longer because this video is super lengthy. So without any further ado, let's get the ball rolling. <laughs> the prediction is they're going to break out in a huge way this year. So take that for what it's worth, ATM. The guy who predicted their success was the same guy who indirectly called them Kevin. cheaters. This tweet didn't Kenny? drop any names. But this was posted around the time when SB19 got the number one spot on MTV's most requested artists for 21 weeks in a row. And this was against much bigger artists. So it was clear which <gasps> one he was talking about. Okay, hang on. Let me uh, rewind the video because I just seen weeks in a row. one of my most and favorite was against much singers of all artists. time, Damash Kodaibarjan from Kazakhstan. I love him so much. And... I'm not exactly sure whether you guys have already known who my favorite artists are from around the globe. Damash Kudaibarjan from Kazakhstan, Gabriel Enrique from Brazil, Christian Achman from Poland. Uh, from Hong Kong, I've got three favorite artists, Jay Fong Kyung Teo from Mirror, and Gareth T, and who else? Hmm. let you know in the comment section below later <laughs> can't remember all of them let's move on so it was clear which <laughs> fandom he was talking about this was only one of the many obstacles they had to overcome because after all these years they turned out to be monsters monsters and by monsters who do you refer to sweetie It might not look like it, but SB19 are people too. They have social media and they see everything. Right. So it only makes sense that some of these hate has gotten into them. I feel like I'm never enough. Uh -huh. Parang feeling ko I'm... Oh my god, here we go again, having goosebumps. Oh my goodness, I keep having goosebumps. I mean, why can't people just embody this mantra? 
the chills are actually running through my entire body right at the moment. Oh my goodness. I completely understand where, where these boys are coming from. It's definitely discouraging to read mean comments about you not being enough, about you <laughs> not having what it takes to have the spotlight. I understand it, completely understand it. It can actually lead you to having self-doubt and quite honestly, it can be ruinous and detrimental in terms of your mental health. And that is why becoming an artist or a public figure, somebody in the public eye, is something that we need to think through time and time again. Because regardless of whether we like it or not, there will always be people who will hate us for no apparent reasons. And that brings us back to this moment. <laughs> Remember the scene? What? <laughs> yeah, that's Pablo. If you're new here, you're probably wondering how he ended up there. Uh -oh. <laughs> what was that, sweetie? When you're spending every day Wardrobe young, malfunction. Here it goes. <laughs> Just wear a Just full kidding. smile. I will tell the next chapter this time, okay? Just wear, I mean, when that happens, just wear a full smile in order for it not to get too obvious. <laughs> That's the best this thing was you can the time do. when Pablo decided not to be silent anymore. SB19 dropped the Pugsy Ball EP, and one of the songs takes a shot against Pugsy those haters. Excuse me, what, what is the meaning of Pugsy Ball? Pugsy Ball is beginning, correct? New beginning? I hope I'm right. I'm not exactly sure about that. Bazinga, I remember the song. Um, most of you guys in the comment section told me of this song was about uh, bashing and throwing negative comments, right? I remember. The lyric video itself screams a lot of shutting them down. The conceptualization is on a different level. Mm -hmm. Just take a look at this guy. This character literally resembled all five members and the person behind it and all other mind-blowing concepts is Justin. Justin. He didn't just wow. come up with these creative concepts. He built them from scratch and oftentimes even used frame-by-frame -frame animation. Artistic. He's a guy who knew what he wants, like a monster hiding behind a beautiful face. Uh -huh. And we all knew about the song that produced the most iconic rap line in P-pop. What? Josh gave it so much justice that it made us forget about his other talents in handling interviews. So what do you think is the difference between Filipino boy groups and you guys? But we couldn't say that we are really better than them because we respect them. Finance, music, gaming, and the world of dance. The dude is a legend in the K-pop dance cover industry along with Stell in Sayon. Even before SB19, Josh was already a monster. Oh, okay. Now I understand. This brings us monsters. to another song from the EP. They are the monsters. Mana. My favorite Mana part Nango. was the imitation of the monster's laugh. Mana Nango. Ah, come on, boy. This was done by none other Love than a monster notes. vocalist himself. Style. I really He's, love Stell's upper register. Beautiful. He's just one of the Beautiful best singers sounding. I've ever heard in my life because of his versatility. I mean, only a monster gets called up by a friend to okay. do a freestyle. Alright, uh, just want to pause the video because I also want to add to the list of my favorite singers which i mentioned earlier fujikaze from japan uh he's my most favorite singer from japan fujikaze and dimash with from kazakhstan uh gabriel enrique from brazil uh gareth t j fong and uh, kyungto from hong kong and quite honestly my most favorite filipino male singer at the moment 
is Stell. I mean, along with JR, the king of R&B Philippine music industry. Yes, JR and Stell. Two of them are my most favorite Filipino male singers at the moment. Okay, let's move on. A vocal run and ends up making an epic song intro. You won't believe it. Wow. <laughs> Can I give it a shot? Can I give it a shot? Okay. Just cover your ears, guys, or turn down the volume of your devices. Hey! 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 All right. Okay. That's about it. Let's move on. <laughs> I just wanted to get things off my chest by belting out a high note like, Hey! 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 <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> People also tend to forget his ability to sing in lower notes. And speaking of forgotten talents, who would dare forget his ability to dance and teach it at the same time? The man single-handedly choreographed almost all of SB19's amazing dance routines. If that isn't a monster to you, then I don't know what is. Wow. Enter the oldest song on the list. This is the song that saved us from virtually everything in the midst of the pandemic. Yeah, pandemic. It saved us from boredom, sorrow, anxiety, burnout, homesickness, depression, you name it. My favorite part of the song is the first verse done by Ken. It makes you feel like you want to cry, but you're happy. You know what I mean? Yeah, He's just ironic. effortless in setting up the mood. But when it comes to his talents, he's in no mood to be joking. Bulan. This guy has a voice that sounds like he came straight from the underworld. Right, I agree. <laughs> Love how casual Chuck uh, describes his voice. Like it sounds like he he, he comes from comes straight from the underworld. I really love his deep sounding voice. It's so sexy. The dude can literally do everything from singing, rapping, dancing, writing, producing, entrepreneurship, drawing, shooting balls, playing, to flying? What? Sheesh, <laughs> that's a monster right there. Now let's okay. move on to the song that was written out of a laundry routine. Remember the time really? when we are doing our laundry? Nagluluto tayo, wow. tas sabi ni Pablo, uh, anong gusto niya sabihin sa parents niyo? Tas ayun. You heard it right, it's MAPA. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. This song broke the hearts of many people all over the world, ah. including mine. This easily became their best song ever because it's very relatable. Oh my goodness, I'm having pays goosebumps. tribute to our loving parents and gives <laughs> thanks to them for all the sacrifices they made for us. 72 million views, are you kidding me? Uh, is this the most viewed uh, on our YouTube channel, right? This one is the most viewed uh, video on our YouTube channel, if I'm not mistaken. It was so immense that it was sung in many different languages. Wow. Oh my goodness, I'm having goosebumps. It's been a while I miss you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm having goosebumps. Oh my. What? Ah. Uh. What language is this? Hindi. Whoa. Ah. Uh -huh. Chinese. <laughs> really? Japanese love Japanese music so much Spanish Spanish the melody takes me back to this unforgettable moment
I really would love to do a cover of SB19's Hanggang Sa Huli, but quite honestly, I can't find uh, a copyrighted, copyright free uh, instrumental music, and that is why I can't do a cover of this song. But can I sing just a few lines from this song, the a cappella way? I hope you guys don't bash me. <laughs> so, okay, that's the first line. Sa tuwing puso ay nagisa, mayroong hilig na kumakatok sa pinto ng aking ala, di na dapat tumiti pa sa yung mga mata. Ngayon ikaw na lang na nakikita. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Everyone's family showed up except for Cam. <laughs> then this happened. Oh my gosh. This moment was so precious because Ken never expected his family to show up. This made MAPA even more special because it was performed by SB19 together with their families. And behind this universal anthem is the mind of a genius himself. The monster in the center of it all, Pablo. If you have noticed, his name is all over every SB19 song we know. Some people say he's got the Midas touch because every song he made was an instant hit. I mean, just listen to how coming. clever the lyrics are in SLMT. <laughs> He managed to thank us by using our fandom's language without making it sound cringe. And he's not even done. He has so many unreleased bangers that are just waiting to be unleashed. Oh, annoying. As a group, SB19 <clears throat> earned the infamous nickname, Live Monsters. Wow. It's because they move and sound even better when live. Oh my god. <laughs> This is one of the main reasons why they have a fast growing and dedicated fan base. They garnered a lot of support that they managed to reach the global music scene. Top social this category artists. is fan voted because music is all about fans. Now let's get into it. This year's 2021 finalists are the girls from the Black Pink. Oh, okay. Boys from BTS. BTS, Black Pink, of course. We have Queen Ariana Grande. Yeah. We have the Filipino boys, just like me, representing SB19. Let's do this. And the ever so incomparable. Oh my god. Go back to all of the amazing finalists. You can vote for your favorite beginning, May 10th. Now, let's go back to the video. Josh couldn't believe it. He couldn't hold his tears because finally he took his step on their quest for world domination. I want to dedicate this stream ah. to our friends SP19. So again, congratulations to them for being a finalist in the Billboard oh Music Awards Top Social Artist. Sobra nakaka proud. Wow, just but despite wow. all the accolades, we can't deny that some people, even P-pop fans, still doubt them. So let me show you something to shut them up. What? This is the chart of the most viewed K-pop boy group MVs in the first 24 hours. I intentionally didn't put SB19 there because if I did, this happens. Their songs easily occupy the upper half percentile by a large margin. Wow. This begs the question, are they just too far ahead of the game? Or are they just... Okay, let's rewind again. 
<laughs> you know what guys, I I've never thrown any shades at anybody on this YouTube channel, but boys, have you got a mirror? Can you guys afford to buy a mirror? If not, you guys can hit me up at Instagram and I'm gonna send you a little generous amount of love offering for you to have something to buy. A mirror on your wall. How was that? <laughs> oh, excuse me, the nerve! Oh my goodness, crab mentality is at its finest. What do you expect, Filipinos? Wait, hang on. Who is this? Uh, this is Renz Barano. Who is this? Uh, it was popular back in the 1990s, but I'm not a fan, so never mind. <laughs> Amen to that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> how you take revenge on other people. Alright, good job, casual chop. Amazing job. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> okay, I have to admit that this episode has made me be on an emotional roller coaster ride because at one point I couldn't help feeling excited and then I would feel upset and then I would get emotional you know what i mean just kudos to casual chuck for coming up with these documentaries which can be a good source of information about sm19 especially for us who have newly been addicted to this peep up group <laughs> but anyway guys this uh, video is super lengthy already i just i would just like you to let me know what you think of this episode in the comment section below because of course, I would love to read your comments. And that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when the next video comes out. Peace out. <laughs>